on my way to a home visit. Hope she's home. Hi! Alright, aren't they just the cutest little guys? Oh my goodness. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to make kitten stew. Oh, sorry, that's my other show. Today I'm going to talk to you about raising kittens. That's better. <laughs> and we're very lucky today because we have Pixie Bobs, which are a beautiful breed of cat. And we have some 10 week old kittens. They're 10 weeks old. Yes. And we have some seven day old kittens. So we're going to be able to take you from the alpha to the amoeba. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't plan to take you to any microorganisms today. That can, that can wait. From the alpha to the omega and the omega being leaving home because these guys are going to be due to leave home real soon. Get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Nisha, do you want to tell us about Pixie Bobs? Yes. So. <laughs> we're good. We're good. These Carry are, on. These are. Legend is, is that Pixie Bobs came from a bobcat mating with a barn cat. Um, right. Or see? barn cat. <laughs> <laughs> they have these amazing features that look um, very similar to bobcat. They've got spots and little black tips on their ears and of course the bobtail. A lot of uh, pixie bobs are polydactyl, which means they have more than four toes. Any of these guys polydactyl, Nisha? This one is. Okay, can you guys see that? Extra toes. <laughs> it's feeding time. This guy, man. Let's talk about the, the babies, the baby babies. So these ones are seven days old. Um, as you can see, the eyes are still shut. Okay. So the eyes open sort of between five and 14 days. The ears between six and 14 days. So this one still hasn't seen the world yet. Big word alert, poi kilothermic. So these guys are poikilothermic for the first two weeks, which means their body temperature actually fluctuates depending on their environment. So it's really important that they're kept nice and warm and nice and dry because they don't have a stable body temperature. Um, that temperature stabilizes at four weeks. They reach their normal temperature. Their eyes will start off a uh, blue-gray color and then by six to seven weeks will reach their normal adult color. They should weigh around 100 grams at birth and then gain about 100 grams a week. Okay, make sure you're worming them. Make sure that they're feeding on mum. They should be feeding about every hour. If they're not, then the mum might have an issue and then you need to go to the vet. They need lots of kisses. It's science. In terms of worming, they should get their first worming tablet at two weeks, same with mum, and get done every two weeks till they're 12 weeks old. After that, it's every four weeks until they're six months old. In terms of feeding, they'll be pretty much entirely on their mum until they're about four weeks old. About the time they start imitating mum and walking and playing is when uh, you start introducing some solid food, which is generally about four weeks. And what you can do is you can mix in some milk replacer to make it semi-liquid at first and then slowly reduce the liquid component until they're eating solid food. By sort of seven to eight weeks, they should be pretty well eating. As you can see, that's a normal umbilicus. It's just starting to dry up. If there is any pus, any yellow discharge or redness there, that would be concerned for an infection. Polydactyl as well. Oh my goodness, here we go. This is number one. Look at him. Look at this little baby. Let's take a look. Alright, let's, let's take a look. What's this one's name? It's just <laughs> running away from us. That is Spark. Oh, Spark. His teeth here. They are looking great. Make sure they're clean. Ear mites is a really com common problem in little kittens, especially if they've come from shelters or you've adopted them from the wild. Common sign of ear mites is there'll be a lot of black dirt in the ears. So we're going to take a look at Cinder. 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 They have a little listen to her chest to make sure that she doesn't have a heart murmur. You want to play with my stethoscope? 
Next, I'll listen to her lungs. Vaccination. So, have these guys had their first shots? They have had their first shots. Okay. And they're due for the second shot um, sometime this week. So, they're 10 weeks now? Yes. Okay. Nisha would have got her first vaccine for them about six weeks, is that right? Yes. Yeah, so she'll be doing six weeks, 10 weeks, 14 weeks. Um, another common schedule is eight weeks, 12 weeks, 16 weeks for vaccinations. Whether or not you do rabies um, will depend on where you are and whether the cat's going to be going outside or not. One of those things you need to see your local vet and talk to them about. Oh, look at him now. I think he likes your accent. Yeah, the big boy? Yeah, we are calling him hamburger, but... Hamburger. We're going to get out hamburger, you guys. The biggest one of the lot. The brutal blitter, as they say. Look at him, isn't he beautiful? He is headed to a family in LA. Ooh, buddy. You're famous. You're going to Hollywood. You're going to be strutting the boulevard. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, he's posing. He's posing. So let's just make sure he's a boy. I mean, owners are generally right, but it's always good to check. That's a boy. So... Until the age of 12 weeks, uh, socialization is really important. That's when they do most of their socialization. They're learning to play, to interact with other cats. So obviously cats that are rehomed younger than 12 weeks by themselves, they can, they can be affected socially and behaviorally um, if they end up getting isolated. So I'm a really firm believer in adopting kittens um, and peers, especially like ideally brothers and sisters, um, so they have somebody to play with, somebody to learn from, to learn what's okay and what's biting too hard. They learn bite in- inhibition. Um, when the owners are out, they have somebody to play with, and it's just a much um, better and less stressful life in general. Especially if there's an older cat in the house, they actually tolerate it better if a brother and sister come in rather than one cat. And there's currently a cat eating the back of my shirt, so I'm just gonna extract that for you guys there we go oh look at that now there's ta-da now there's two obviously if you're buying a cat like a pixie bob which is two or three thousand dollars it may not be possible to get two Uh, but in an ideal world that's what i like to recommend when they're young it's good to expose them to as many different things as possible so dogs if you have a if you have a dog or your friend has a dog that's really friendly you can You can bring the dog in the house and tentatively introduce them to each other, but I would be very, very careful with that. Other cats, new environments, putting them in the cat carrier, taking them in the car. It's good to get all of those types of things out of the way when they're young, so when they're older they don't just completely freak out if you have to go to the vet or you you have to move house and they've they've never been exposed to new environments before. That's something I would be really on to when they're younger. We're meeting mum. So mummy should be on kitten food. The reason we give them kitten food is they need lots of energy when they're lactating. I hope this was helpful. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be plenty more. Have a great day, folks. Stay cute.